like the book had like certain magic in making it non-linear. Oh, I see. It was jumping around. Yeah. Other stories, but you kind of made it more linear. Each woman told her own different stories. You know, the young girl, the older girl. That was, I mean, the Joy Love Club was made for Disney. It was made with a with as wide a, an audience in mind, and I wanted to make it as clear as possible so that there's no no misunderstanding. Because there were a lot of trepidations from a lot of people saying they don't they don't know the Chinese names, they'll get confused by it. They can't tell the difference between the Chinese faces. All all Chinese women look the same. Um, so those were factors that we were struggling against. So and the, the film is so complicated to begin with. So I said, well, let's find a very simple structure and just, you know, uh, make it clear for people. When I grew up in Hong Kong, you know, this was in the 50s. It, it wasn't television then and there. And I, I grew up with a lot of radio. And I listened to a lot of stories on radios. And I, that's where my imagination was, was really, you know, cultured. So, and I really missed that. And, and I... Even though film is supposed to be a visual medium, I still think that words and, and, and storytelling are, are wonderful aspects of it. I mean, I think there needs to be kind of a nice balance between visual versus um, words and, and, and story and character.